let's see about triac and diac so what is a triac so triac is equivalent to two scrs in anti parallel so we can see this is an scr connected in this direction and this is another scr connected in the opposite direction so this is um, two scrs are able to conduct in two directions so this triac becomes a bidirectional device and since it is bidirectional there is no concept of anode and cathode so it is represented as mt1 and mt2 and k terminals so this whole setup can be uh, represented as a triac unit so two thyristors in anti parallel with a gate terminal so the drawback of having two scrs in anti parallel is that you need two heat sinks for two different scr but if you use a single uh, triac unit one uh, heat sink is enough uh, moreover here the gate source should be separated from uh, the gate source of this one should be separated from this one otherwise there is a possibility of getting shorted so if you see the construction of uh, triac it has uh, three terminals mt1 mt2 and gate so this mt1 is uh, available near the gate and this is taken as a reference meaning that if we want to specify um, mt2 is positive it means that mt2 is positive with respect to mt1 or mt2 is negative with respect to mt1 so this is taken as reference and this triac as the name suggest ac it is used in ac circuits especially to control the power in ac circuits so it can operate um, in both the positive and negative half cycles of the ac voltage waveform because it is bidirectional so there are four modes of operation in triac so it can be mt2 positive and gate positive or negative and again mt2 negative and gate positive or negative so four modes of operation are there but only two modes are preferred or recommended that is the mt2 positive and gate positive mt2 negative and gate negative so this positive and negative indicates with respect to mt1 so the sensitivity of the track is will be greatest only in these two modes of operation and it is only recommended so vei characteristics of uh, triac this is similar to that of an scr and you will get the similar characteristics here because it is also a scr connected in anti parallel the dv by dt rating uh, is lower in uh, triac compared to thyristor and it is less reliable because it is a bidirectional device when you apply one uh, a reverse voltage for one thyristor it acts as a um, positive voltage for the other thyristor so there is a probability of getting turned on so reliability is um, less in uh, a triac so let us see the applications the best application is the fan regulator so you can see that the supply voltage is connected to the fan through this triac so triac is a bidirectional device it can conduct during both positive and negative half cycle and the gate of this triac is connected through a diac so diac is nothing but a bidirectional device since uh, triac needs bidirectional gate control a diac is used diac means diode for alternating current it is also called a gateless triac it means that uh, a triac without gates uh, gate control so it is also a bidirectional device and the va characteristics will be similar only except that you will not get uh, give the gate but uh, the breakover voltage is around 30 to 40 volts in a diac and um, the voltage drop is around 3 volts 
so it doesn't find many application it is mostly preferred for uh, gate control in uh, triac circuits so points to remember is triac is a bidirectional device the sensitivity of the triac is greatest in um, when mt2 is positive and gate is positive and when mt2 is negative and gate is negative and triac ratings are usually lower than the ser and they are less reliable than the ser so these are some of the references and if you do like the video do subscribe to our electric vehicle channel thank you